I grew up in a family with cars. My uncle used to compete in club rallies and used to drag me along to the nine hours. And there for the first time I saw the red cars, the Ferraris, and that just triggered it. Any effort is very analog. There are no driver aids. It's very driver focused. You've got to be on top of things the whole time. You've got to time your gear shifts perfectly. You've got to, as they say, keep it on the boil if you really want the performance out of it. But once you get it right, it is just so rewarding. There is no words to describe that. And the sound, it's just amazing. <laughs> prepared if you want to drive the car and enjoy it because the pedals are close to each other. There's limited luggage space, but other than that, you have to really feel like driving. It's not a forgiving car. You get in, you be positive, you want to drive it. The reward is, is it's the ultimate reward. Yeah, the first drive was really something else. I was quite nervous because I had a road trip planned. So when I went back there with a friend, we got in the car and we drove 750 kilometers to the middle of France. Which was Probably not the ideal thing to do for the first time you're driving an F40. But, believe it or not, it was an amazing experience. And, um, you know, I was frowned upon when I told them what I'm going to do. But that was really the best experience of my life. My name is Davi Teron and I drive a 1989 Ferrari F40. the epitome of what Ferrari can do. It's, it's basically, to me, it showcases the essence of Ferrari. You know, it's quite raw, it's very driver focused. Obviously, I never thought I'd be able to afford it when I was in my 20s or 30s. But the opportunity came along last year. I got the call. Davi, here's a car that we think you should look at. I went over to the UK and sure enough, this car had a racing history in the UK, but it wasn't heavily modified. They basically removed the front and the rear lids in, and made it in fiberglass. The engine was stock standard, just with a modified exhaust. He raced it very successfully and he won two class championships over a period of two years. After winning the championships, the owner decided to restore the car back to original. And I saw the car in its restored condition. But on the occasion of the viewing of the car, it was raining so much that I couldn't drive the car. So, but I there and then decided this is the car that I've got to have. The 
specific memory that I have of the car, the first drive, we did a little tour with some other like-minded guys, and we went to a track called Varano. It's um, in the north of Italy, close to Parma. And you know, everybody warns you and tells you, just remember, the F40 is a bit of an animal. You've got to heat up the tires, be careful. So I said to myself, this is the first time I'm going to be on a track. I've got to be careful. But after seeing a Porsche on the track and disappearing into the distance, I couldn't help myself but giving chase. <laughs> myself sideways in the first hairpin as a result of a bit over eager on the throttle in second gear and that properly woke me up and then I realized okay the F40 is an animal in the same time it was very rewarding to catch it <laughs> and to live to play another day When it lets go, it's, it's quite violent. And it, um, it's, like I said, it's, it's very, it's not forgiving. You have to be very quick. But after that, I had a few, few laps and I enjoyed it. I bought a car in the UK. Um, the best I could do is bring it in on a car name. I thought about it before because, you know, it involves quite a lot of money. But then I decided one year in my life with a car in, in my country, on South African soil, you know, you make memories with a car. And it was special because I visited Swat Cops, I went to Kailami, we went to quite a few events on breakfast runs with a club. Having the bars closed, that was epic. I mean, that. And I said to my wife, you don't realize how fast you can go if you're allowed to use the whole road. The memories that I have of that was just unbelievable. <laughs> Did you know that we also sell really awesome car themed merchandise? Check out our range of custom t-shirts and prints at our online store now. Simply click on the square box on your screen and we'll take you there or the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.